Hi everybody, this is Megan McDade with Goddess Elite, and I'm bringing you another tarot review. Um, we just had a deck that um, we received that is really a wonderful deck with Pride Month coming up. Um, I think that this, this deck is going to find a home and a place with so many of you. Um, this is the Pride deck. And you guys can see that. I'm going to try and give you a closer up or as close that you'll be able to see. Let's be opening up this. It's a very thick box, you'll notice. It's thicker than the usual one. And there's a good reason for that. There's a lot in this deck that you get when you buy this deck. Um, to start off with, there's a couple of special cards. That you get. I'm going to show you the back of the card first that says, Love is Love. Just, I think you guys can see that. That's the back of the card. That's the theme in this deck. Love is Love, no matter who you are. Um, then we have a card that displays the pride flag colors. And there is a short descriptive card about a Mr. Gilbert Baker, who is the person who designed the pride flag, and in 2017, when he passed away, there was a font that was designed um, to commemorate his life, and the font is called Gilbert. So any of you who go into your fonts, and if you've ever used Gilbert, you're using the font that was created to commemorate his dedication to the LGBT community throughout his life. Um, and it's used throughout the deck, too, so you'll also find that deck. It's, for, it's neat to know that. It's a little piece of history. Uh, to the book. This is not that normal, thin, little, crappy little book that you get in so many of the decks that you buy that are just the decks without, you know, without it being a set. This book is thick number one it is a thick book it is full color front cover and binding there is a description of every single card with a picture of every single card within this book um and the reading is wonderful um i highly recommend if you get this duck give the book a thorough read you'll find the meaning as it applies to the LGBT community, um, in every description of every card, um, and uh, little comments about the art, the artist, um, what the card means, how its meaning can be interpreted in term, terms of the LGBT community, and um, so forth. It's, it's, you see, you get a nice quality book. On to the deck itself. Um, the first card is a beautiful depiction of the Fool. It is just this wonderful depiction of the Fool. And I think anybody who's a member of the LGBT community is going to understand and maybe resonate with this. Uh, very much alone. The Fool is almost always alone anyway, except for his little dog, which is... Here too, but the imagery is very, very. I, anybody who is a member of the community is going to understand this card. Stepping off into nothing, but the rainbow sky that faces this person as they get ready to start their journey is just. I mean, it's very poignant. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Um. The Magician. Different kind of a card. Half human, half beast. Uh, and very much in control of and able to metamorph and, and move back and forth between different um, expressions of self, I should say. The High Priestess. 
very detailed card. She's not the usual high priestess. She has um, the wings of a moth detailed in there, and so many different uh, other details. Another great card that's in this deck. The Empress. You're going to love this card. Right side to the bed. Um, but you're going to love this card. It is, it is just beautiful. Very inclusive. Sweet card. Anybody who's a member of the LGBT community is going to get this too. It's the Emperor. The Emperor with the boobs. <laughs> I might have. Um, the Messenger, the Hierophant, um, you guys all know the Hierophant card, it's always a, this expression of male energy, um, knowing things, having this knowledge to pass on, um, to the world. This is not the usual Hierophant card, standing out speaking to the world, expressing the wisdom. And as, you know, someone with long hair, <laughs> which can sometimes be deceiving. Um, the Lovers. This card is, is beautiful for a lot of reasons. And Anybody who is a member of the community, and even those of you who are not, you're going to love this deck. Uh, it speaks so much to the heart. Uh, the Lovers is usually a guy and a gal, and they're holding hands, or they're, you know, in each other's arms, and they're kissing, or they're making love, and I've seen a lot of depictions. Um, how about this? I can't make too many comments on this because it speaks for itself. Uh, beautiful card. Um, a chariot, kind of a traditional rider, rider weight uh, depiction. And this card, um, Strength, is one of those cards in a deck that really sometimes defines the deck. It lets you know how uh, how expressive the people are who are who designed it. Look at this depiction of strength. Can, can you see that? Wow, just just beautiful. The hermit. In this card. You almost don't even see a figure. Um, the aloneness and the light that comes from the emptiness in this in this picture is so beautiful. I haven't read the book on this one, but I'm going to because it, it's the art is very very stark, but full of light being given to the world. The wheel of fortune. Pen and ink. Oops. Lady Justice. The Hanged Man. Death going to love this death card for those of you who are in the community you're going to love this death card death on a white horse carrying a rainbow flag um really symbolizing the rebirth one experiences when one is true to oneself and who one is and the death that often occurs when you do that the whole life <laughs> oh my god life that you feel when you do that. Love this card. It is a 
beautiful card material, just a little on that one. This is very, very sweet. The Temperance card is also so well done. This idea of balance. The flow of life. That card is wonderful. The devil. Kind of traditional. Depiction of the devil. The tower almost this this uh, Flemish kind of a painting right here. As in the depiction of the tower. Different kind of a star. The moon. Beautiful depiction of the moon. And the sun, which is used for the front of the card box is the sun card. And I mean, it's a beautiful depiction of the sun. Judgment. Judgment is one of those cards in the deck that can often look very harsh and very, very difficult to deal with. It deals with how we judge ourselves. Um, it deals with um, the harsh reality that sometimes we project on ourselves that um, can sometimes appear very full of guilt. And, and this card, <laughs> this card is gentle, sweet, loving, forgiving. This imagery of music even in there with the with the lyre. And then we have the world. And again, you can see that wonderful font, Gilbert, that's used in this deck. Yeah, very non-traditional deck. Then we get into the uh, court cards. Um, court cards are very different. I'm going to go through some of these very quickly. Two of Swords. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, and the Sun that's behind this Heartbreak. Four of Swords, the Rest. Um, nine of Swords, the Walk Away kind of a card. You can see this imagery that is almost like fading away as an individual knowing when one needs to move on from a situation because it's not um, workable anymore. Two, let's see. Queen of Swords. There is a beautiful depiction of the Queen of Swords as well as the King of Swords. Just to give you an idea. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. i got to get to work. Melissa is expecting me. And I just wanted to give you a glimpse into this deck. Um, it is such a beautiful deck. There's the Fool again. And whether or not you are a member of the LGBT community, whether or not you, you work with... Um, those facets are personally involved, whether you are an ally um, or a member of the community, you're going to find that this deck um, has something to offer for you that is really um, a wonderful, worthwhile investment. So I'm going to highly recommend that if you're in the store, drop in and pick up a copy of this deck. It is really beautiful. And thanks for listening. Again, this is Megan with Goddess Elite. Bye-bye.